Well, the president ended up choosing patriotism over politics in a big speech celebrating our nation on Independence Day. But you wouldn't have thought it was possible if you listen to the 2020 Democrats out there on the campaign trail. On this day, 243 years ago, our founding fathers pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to declare independence and defend our God-given rights. Donald Trump, I believe, is incapable of celebrating what makes America great because I don't think he gets it. On this July 4th, we pay special tribute to the military service members who laid down their lives for our nation. It's really uh, all about Trump. It's not about our service members. It's not about their sacrifices. It's not about my brothers and sisters who lost their lives. As long as we stay true to our cause, as long as we remember our great history, as long as we never, ever stop fighting for a better future, then there will be nothing that America can not do. You know, he's having a parade for himself, uh, putting tanks out there for himself. Contrast, many in the media also predicting doom and gloom from the president's salute to America ceremony before it even happened. Our next guest has a different perspective, saying, quote, the president made his critics look small during that salute to America. Joining me now live, Mark Thiessen, Fox News contributor, of course, co-host of the American Enterprise Institute's new podcast, What the Hell is Going On? And maybe I'll start right there, Mark. What, I'll, I'll, I'll change it a little bit. What the, what the heck is going on here? What the heck is going on is there are a lot of people with egg on their face today. I mean, look, this of all the stupid freakouts that we've had since Donald Trump was elected, this has got to be the stupidest of all time. I mean, literally, the, the resistance told us that, there, that if we elected Donald Trump, there'd be tanks on the streets. And it was like it was finally happening. <laughs> the, the tanks were arriving. Well, and I'm not kidding. I mean, Lawrence Tribe actually tweeted out a picture of the tanks arriving in Washington saying it looks like before Tiananmen Square. Leaving it thousand people at yep. Tiananmen Square. Leaving out that President Eisenhower at his inaugural had yeah. tanks. Uh, President Kennedy had tanks, rockets, as I recall. We've seen pictures now, historical footage of that. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez mm -hmm. has been tweeting, I think, even today, not even beforehand, now saying this was a paltry crowd, when in fact, when you look at the photos, it was a pretty big crowd. I didn't count every single person. Uh, but when Tulsi Gabbard just flat out says she's running for president, you see the crowd a little bit there in the picture. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard says he won't be honoring the troops. He largely honored the troops throughout the speech. Look at this. The self-serving politician that he is, Trump has succeeded in making July 4th about himself and in doing so further divided our country. This on a day when our nation's president should be uniting us. Hashtag Independence Day when she and other Democratic candidates seem to be dividing everybody. Well, I mean, first of all, he's the president of the United States. This is what presidents do on the 4th of July. I mean, this is, this is another lie they said. Well, this, he's inserting himself into the 4th of July celebrations. Tons of presidents have done that. Uh, Harry Truman gave a speech on the mall in front of the Washington Monument. You had uh, Woodrow Wilson, John F. Kennedy, G uh, Gerald Ford, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton all gave speeches at uh, Independence Hall. Ronald Reagan gave a speech from an aircraft carrier that they stationed in front of the of the uh, Statue of Liberty for a perfect camera shot. Yeah. And, and how much did that cost? I mean, no one complained about that. So, it's the job of the president to give a speech on the 4th of July. Now, to be I, fair, the the president was not without error, and I see a lot sure. of people criticizing him that at one point he said something about the Revolutionary Army taking over the airports when apparently he meant the ports because there were not airports uh, <laughs> back then, of course. He says today it's a teleprompter error, but it seems to me, I was obviously joking about this being a huge error, that all of a sudden, we got him, we got him. He said airports instead of ports. Is that really yeah. what it's come to? Yeah, and Barack Obama said we had 57 states. I mean, people <laughs> misspeak. You know, it's it's not the end of the world. But look, th what these people just don't seem to understand when when you when, the first rule of holes is when you're in one, stop digging, right? So they they, they were wrong about this speech. They said it's going to be a partisan speech, and millions of Americans tuned in and were wondering what the heck they were talking about. It was a great speech. It was moving to see all these uh, these fighter jets flying, the B-2 bomber flying over yeah. the nation, our nation's capital was amazing and these people are in a hole and they keep digging and they keep taking shots at him and americans look at that and they say there's something wrong with these well, people to your point ari fleischer <laughs> tweeted out that maybe they're so blinded by hatred that they're leaving they haven't learned from 2016 that there are millions of americans actually love the flag love yeah. these military displays and they they attack the president and miss out on what real americans want mark Thiessen, we really appreciate you coming in always happy to be on